Hi, welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for December 14, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 7.10 a.m. Central Standard Time followed by sunset at 4.20 p.m. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky, brilliant Venus shines from the southeast before sunrise. It rises nearly three hours, 30 minutes before sunrise and about 15 minutes after Jupiter sets. The Venus-Jupiter opposition occurred four mornings ago and the pair is not easily visible in the sky at the same time until later next year. This morning, at one hour before sunup, the morning star is over 20 degrees above the southeast horizon and 4.3 degrees to the upper right of Zubinel Genubi, meaning the southern claw of the scorpion. The northern claw, Zubina Shamali, is over 9 degrees to the upper left of its companion appendage. Venus passes the southern claw in three mornings. It passes between the claws, a precarious place to be in celestial artwork, the next morning. Mars is slowly emerging from bright sunlight, rising only 33 minutes before the sun. In the evening sky. This evening is the last call for Mercury for this evening appearance of the speedy planet. The planet's apparition has suffered from a poorly inclined ecliptic with the western horizon. It is racing back into brighter evening twilight, setting 65 minutes after the sun. This evening the moon re-enters the western sky. It is not in the same binocular field with Mercury, but it can assist with the planet's identification. At sunset, the crescent moon, 5% illuminated, is 10 degrees above the southwest horizon. Mercury is 10.9 degrees to the lower right of the lunar crescent, equating to a binocular field and a half away. 15 minutes later, the moon is 7.5 degrees above the horizon and Mercury is still the same distance from the lunar orb. By 45 minutes after nightfall, the planet is less than 3 degrees above the horizon and likely lost in the haze that dims and blurs celestial objects, although the moon is over 5 degrees above the horizon. Until Mercury sprints into the eastern morning sky after it overtakes our planet and nears greatest elongation on January 12, 2024, we say, goodbye, Mercury. Each evening for about the next two weeks, the moon is farther eastward and brighter. The crescent is below the ringed wonder in four nights. By an hour after sunset, two planets, Saturn and Jupiter are easy to spot. Saturn is nearly 35 degrees above the southwest horizon. It is slowly trekking eastward in front of Aquarius, 10.1 degrees to the lower right of Lambda Aquarii, 9.8 degrees to the upper right of Skate, the Aquarian's leg, and 8.1 degrees to the upper left of Deneb Algdi, Capricornus tail. Saturn moves to within 5 degrees of Lambda Aquarii before they disappear into western twilight near the midpoint of winter. Bright Jupiter is nearly 40 degrees above the east-southeast horizon. The Jovian giant is retrograding in front of Aries, 11.6 degrees to the lower right of Hamel, Aries' brightest star, and 14.2 degrees to the upper right of Menkar, part of Cetus. Hamel is about the brightness of the Big Dipper's stars, but a binocular is needed to see Menkar from urban and suburban settings. Jupiter's retrograde concludes on the 30th. Then it seems to resume its eastward motion against the background stars. Retrograde motion is an illusion from Earth overtaking and passing between distant planets and the Sun. The outer planets seem to stop moving eastward against the stars and move westward for a time, depending on their distance from Earth. During the night, the planets and stars appear farther westward from Earth's rotation. Saturn sets toward the west-southwest less than six hours after sundown, while Jupiter is southward an hour earlier. The Jovian giant sets in the west-northwest before Venus rises tomorrow morning. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.